Hundreds gathering in Hopkinton this evening, rallying for 16-year-old Michaela Miller, who was found dead near her home last month. The rally itself is now over, but the crowd has now moved onto the street to continue the demonstration. And her mother just spoke to supporters about an hour ago. She says her daughter was attacked hours before she died, and she is demanding answers. WBZ's Christina Hager is live with that mother's message tonight. Christina? Yeah, this was an emotional vigil and rally here. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see some of the uh, activists have gathered in the street here. Michaela Miller's mother addressed the crowd through tears. She thanked the hundreds who came out in a huge so show of support here at the marathon start line. Say her name. Say her name. A crowd on the Hopkinton Town Green mourning the death of 16 year old Michaela Miller. Her mother, Calvina Struthers. She was my bright and shining star in this crazy world. High school students were let out of school before 11 this morning, well before this gathering for their classmate who was found dead in the woods last month. In the absence of real answers, rumors have alleged she was bullied and murdered. It's an unspeakable tragedy. Even though the district attorney, Marion Ryan, says the cause of death is not known yet. I want to make sure that I am clear about my goals in all of this. It's to have full transparency and get justice for my daughter, Michaela. Earlier this week, Ryan said Michaela had been in a fight the night before her body was discovered, but Ryan said cell phone technology and witness interviews indicate the others involved were not with Michaela when she died. I don't want to be a vigilante in this. I don't want to have to spend all day on the phone getting and passing along evidence in order for justice to be served. What I want is for the criminal justice system to work. And Michaela's mother said there are some things that just don't add up here. Some glaring omissions from the police blotter. No uh, police report when she asked for it. And now you hear the crowd chanting, demanding justice. In Hopkinton, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you. Now, according to the district attorney, Marion Ryan, Michaela was found dead in the woods on April 18th at about 745 in the morning. The evening before, the DA says she was in a fight with other teenagers. Her mother says she was attacked by them. Around 930, Michaela's mother went to sleep, according to the district attorney, believing that Michaela was still in the apartment. But later that night, they say between 9 and 10, the DA says Data from Michaela's cell phone shows that her phone traveled about 1,300 steps, roughly the distance between her home and where she was found dead. The district attorney has also said that the teens in that previous altercation were not in the area around the time of her death. The DA is promising answers for Michaela's family. She says that will take some time. Stay with WBZ and CBSN Boston as we continue to follow this story.